So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today, I will talk about an overview of feature collections in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So here, I have created a feature, a polygon feature for a country, boundary, Egypt. So I have created using this option called the polygon, draw a polygon. So I've created a boundary uh, feature for the country called Egypt. So to display, to print and display the feature collection. So suppose if you want to know the properties or the details about the feature collection, that is the polygon, you're using this uh, option called print geometry map dot add layer geometry. And this parenthesis it refers to it takes the default visualization parameter that is the default takes the default value and geometry that refers to this variable so here this variable called variable geometry a polygon a 26 vertices so variable we define this when we're defining a, a feature called polygon it automatically automatically takes a variable called geometry which is a polygon with 26 vertices so it has a coordinates list of about 27 elements so it is type the feature type it is a polygon so now let me uh, run this so to suppose to view this uh, details of the property of this polygon we using print geometry that refers to this geometry so print geometry refers to this variable called geometry that is refers to this polygon the boundary of Egypt so map add layer geometry so parenthesis refers it takes the default visualization parameter and uh, output as geometry now let me run this So now you can able to see that it has uh, in console section it has displayed the details about this so this is this feature is a polygon with 27 vertices so the type is a polygon so coordinate list is so we have 27 elements so the vertices the different vertices so we have 26 or 27 0 to 26 the so 27 vertices details so, and also this particular feature has been uh, added as a layer in Google Earth Engine. So you can see here, let me turn this off and turn this on. So this is a feature now. So it is a layer, sorry. It is a layer now. Before it was a feature polygon. So as a, as we displayed it, it is a, a layer now. Now next is suppose if you want to generate a random samples or let me say, Suppose if you want to generate a random sample numbers or sample points in the specific study area of this uh, country Egypt, we define this variable that is variable called random points equals to double e dot feature collection dot random points geometry 100 sample points. So the 100 here represents the 100 sample points in this study area it will take a hundred sample points around uh, across the study area as this random uh, points algorithm that takes a random points along this all the parts of the study area so uh, let us run this and next is so uh, to display the points so after using this algorithm we're going to display this uh, layer into google earth engine so map dot add layer random points that is refers to this variable random points and this uh, parenthesis refers to it takes the default visualization parameter or the default values and uh, output as a random points so map dot center object geometry so it's going to center and zoom it to a uh, zoom it to that layer so let me just uh, let me uh, so now let us run this So we have def uh, defined a sample, 100 sample points in the study area of this country called Egypt. So now let me uh, run this. Go to this option called Run Script and click Run. 
So it is running here. So it is loading. So now we can able to see that. So we have around 100 sample points around the study area. Now let me uh, turn this off. Turn this layer geometry. So now we can able to see that we have a different 100, 100 different uh, sample points around the edge of the study area. We have chosen study area. So suppose if you want to choose a more uh, sample points around this uh, particular study area that is edge, we can able to uh, change this number. So go to this option called this this particular algorithm from 100 to change it to 200. Now let me run this. So now we can able to view that. So before it was around, uh, it was around when just a hundred uh, hundred samples. So previously we had around uh, 100 uh, sample points and now we have around 200 uh, sample points around the study area. So this is a random sampling. So now suppose if you want us uh, if you want more sample points so now we can able to view that there is a uh, 200 sample points so suppose if you need more points you can change to 500 so let me reset this now run this so you can view now there is a 500 sample locations. So now we can able to view that we have around 500 different sample locations. So across the study area, we have 500 different sample locations. So using we have done using uh, the random sample algorithm, so random points. So you can see these are the random sample points. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, create a polygon uh, in Google Earth Engine and how to add a random sample points in your study area. And also you can choose your desired number of uh, sample points of your chosen study area using this algorithm called random points and next we display this uh, display this random points using the map.add layer and to set this correct zoom level we are using map.center object so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like